Well, it's been two years since we've had anything in the way of competition within the ranks of Drum Corps International. We had a great celebration last year in Indy, no doubt. But those pesky judges weren't running around out there on the field, John Phillips. What did you do? What have you done to keep them current and interested and ready to go again? Sure. Well, absolutely. Um, One of the exciting things that we were able to pull off last year because we didn't have the cores being adjudicated was to present something known as the World Judging Symposium. It was the first of its kind, we we think. And we were fortunate to have the uh, generous sponsorship and support, technical support of the Con Selmer organization. And we held it in Lucas Oil Stadium for two days. Uh, we had over 400 registrations, and including our entire judging roster participated in this. Uh, it was a series of uh, sessions that were focused on all of the elements that uh, would be involved not only in judging drum corps, but just in judging pageantry and the marching arts in general. Um, we had uh, some live sessions. We went out and uh, visited some of the cores in the surrounding area as they were getting ready for the DCI celebration. Uh, we had uh, pre-recorded sessions um, with uh, celebrities in our world and special guests. And um, then we had some live sessions in the stadium, looking at some of the cores and discussing with folks uh, what judges might be looking for and what they might value if they were actually scoring that performance. So it was pretty exciting and it was a great way to bring everybody back and re-engage our judging community in getting ready for the summer of 2022. Yeah, it did give us a chance to do some things we might not otherwise do free of the competitive pressures. Uh, I know John Turner on the open class front a lot of these cores uh, on the open class and uh, were inactive and uh, now got to get it back in gear as well. How is, how's that going? In the, the competitive That's right, Steve. That's right, Stephen. Uh, hi, it's great to see you and great to talk to you and John and look forward to another season of Drum Bugle Corps. And uh, as you uh, mentioned, to have the uh, judges involved as well. So yeah, the open class cores, I believe we had three at the celebration event in August last year. A few of other of the other groups were active in their local area, but didn't didn't or weren't able to make the trek to Indy um, for that three day celebration. Um, so yeah, there's there are several groups that are going to be getting back into operation. They probably already have done that now. I know they're meeting this weekend also in the uh, Indy uh, summit meetings, or the annual meetings, and you know their operations are you know get, getting back, getting their minds back around the whole process involved in you know, ramping up to getting out on the road with their cores. Um, from a production perspective, they got to go through that whole, you know, process as well. And they've had a full two years off in some cases where they just haven't produced a product. And now they are going to have to get back into the swing of that. So, yeah, some challenges for them. But I think that we'll, I think we'll be happy with what we see when they get to the end of the season. And Steve, you know, one of the frustrating things for us in 2020 was that we had just a, initiated in the last few years, um, a concerted effort to bring new faces to the judging ranks, uh, to provide more diversity in our uh, membership on the on the roster. And uh, we had some, we have some really great candidates who are going to be in their first year of judging. They, they had done the trial judging, they'd done all of the other interviews and presented their material to us, and they were ready to go, but they didn't get that chance. So uh, they're very eager to get going at this. And um, we're also meeting this weekend to, as a judge and men team, to look at other candidates who want to start the judge training process. So there's still uh, a great interest. And uh, I'll just use a little plug here. If anyone's interested in in becoming a DCI judge, uh, you can find information on the DCI website. And it's under the, uh, the button that says participate. You drop down and there's something that says judges there and you click on that and you'll find out what it takes to be a DCI judge. And that was one of the sessions that we actually did during our World Judging Symposium as well, give people some insights into that. So Steve, getting back to your question, uh, we're we're at full capacity and uh, pretty much everyone on the roster is ready to rock and roll. We'll do some preseason training in June and I think we'll be ready. JT, let's uh, talk uh, open class again for a moment as the the schedule comes together and uh, uh, we point for uh, Indiana for uh, the open class nationals as well. What what are you hearing from the cores? Are they uh, are they primed and ready? I think so. Yeah, I I, I don't know that we have a full complement that we had uh, per se in 2019, Um, but for sure. Yeah, Um, people are raring to go. 
their their schedule will be a lot like it is it has been and and, and really has become their norm which is um they will hit shows here and there so to speak in the first few weeks and ma mainly it'll be in their local area and, and there may be a couple of cases of open class cores that actually go out on more of a tour early on but most of them get started in the middle of july and then they're out on the road until the end of the until the end of the uh, dci championship so that's what i expect this year you know i, I haven't seen a, a a tally yet of everybody that's confirmed to be out there but there's yeah definitely quite a few names out there on the schedule if you go look at it yeah i followed dave edelman's report today on, on open class and it uh, was really heartening to see uh see how healthy those cores looked and uh boy we've just had such great growth in that class and uh, just hope that can continue absolutely absolutely yeah they've, they've covered they've covered a lot of ground they've they've, they've gotten uh, it's a completely different division than it was back when we had the divisions um you know that um class tended to have a lot more um what i say a, a lot more range let's say in terms of the different productions and now it's it the, the range has moved up um quite a bit but i think just just the, the average quality level of each of the groups in terms of their productions has gotten a lot better too their approach is better if you uh Want to follow John Phillips and, and live the dream? Again, it's uh, dci.org. Where do they go from there, John? Uh, they look under participate, and there will be a button under that that'll say judges, and you will see everything you need to know about becoming a judge. And um, we also have this World Judging Symposium. We're streaming that and available to anybody who's interested. We, the thing about that wasn't just for people who were judges. It's for anybody, any fan who's interested in getting behind the scenes. So we basically let them know how we arrive at scores, not only in DCI, but basically the, the format that's used in pageantry arts in general. Um, and it's, you know, we had a number of uh, fans and member, core members who uh, participated in that thing. So uh, there's information there as well. And uh, we'd be happy to have anybody else uh, who might be interested and think that they're ready for this uh, to look at joining us on the roster.